As part of the positional chapter, we reach the final part where we are going to be discussing the good knight versus the bad bishop. When it comes to minor pieces, generally the preference is the bishop, especially if you have both bishops. But sometimes there are cases when the knight becomes a better piece than the bishop. Why? Because the knight gets an outpost, which we were discussing already quite a bit in the previous part of this chapter, and the bishop stands on the same square as its pawns. So the pawns will be limiting the power of the bishop. Let's move on and start to see the first example of this kind. So in this position, it is a complicated middle game. White just gave up the pawn, but it is temporary because now white is able to destroy the king structure of black and capture back the pawn on h7. After king f8, white wants to centralize his pieces and comes back with the bishop to e4, which is a very useful move. Black is forced to go back to d6 because he has to hold on on his bishop on c5. Now white is playing again a very wise move, going out with the king from the c-file because the rook is expected to go to c8. Rook c1, bishop b6, and now the white queen moves out from the c-file as well. Rook d8, white brings his rook to d1, a very good developing move rook c7. So now we reach a position where both army set up completely as much as they uh, understand the position as much as they could. The black king stands a little bit vulnerable, but that's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem will be for black, the pawn chain he has on the black squares, he has also the black square bishop. So now we can say that the bishop is not too active while the white bishop is extremely powerful in the center because it has the power on both directions. But still, the bishop is going to be given up because there is a higher priority what whites to like to achieve. So he took bishop c6, giving up the bishop for the knight. Rook takes c6. So the first part of the mission is done. So now in this position, white played an excellent move, creating an outpost for his knight. He played e4, closed the position. It is essential in order to have his knight just in a few moves on a wonderful square f5. So now it's very difficult for black to defend this position. Let's see how it continued. Black controls the C file, but white has no time to hesitate. He just goes for knight h4 and occupies the f5 square. So now it's very difficult for black to look for counter chances. But it is very typical when positionally you have a very big problem or even almost a lost position, you definitely look for some tactical solution. And this is what happened that black was looking for and he played rook c3, which looks like a spectacular move, and there would be serious problem for white if he would be capturing the rook by taking c3, he would even lose the game just in a few moves. Because white gives a check, black gives a check on b3, king a1, capturing with check the a3 pawn, king goes out to b1, and now black can win in just a few moves, because black can bring up his rook to the fifth rank and horizontally he's going to be giving checkmate to white on a5. So b takes c3 would be a huge blunder by white, but white just played a very quiet queen d2. 